<laughs> did I sneak out? I don't think you did. I don't think I did. No, that was beforehand. Yeah. Wow, both of us troopers. Let's get back on yeah, topic, please. Nobody wants to hear about that. Exactly. People are like, shut these guys up. But we do appreciate anyone who is watching and listening via the Kunlun That's app. That's right. We love you guys. Send us your feedback. Keep it positive, though. Any negative feedback will be deleted. <laughs> <laughs> Marwan Tuzu from the Netherlands, just 23 years of age. 189 centimeters tall, much taller than his opponent. 35 wins, five losses, seven KOs. What have you done for me lately? Three wins, one loss, just to defeat, one KO. This kid, love his intro music. He's a great guy, great to talk to, very polite, professional, representing his country and his team to the fullest. I'm going to say, Kevin, I don't think it's easy for you to get Buakau a, uh, a fight. I think it's difficult. I don't think people are chomping at the bit to enter the ring with that killer. No, it is quite difficult. It is. And Very for, much so. I for, agree with that. For the youngster to step up, Marijuan, good for him. Long, lanky. He needs to use his... He needs to use his um, reach and length ability. I mean, what do you do to Boakau, though? Boakau, big knockout percentage. And here he is. No question about it. He is Muay Thai's biggest export. And Thailand's number one Muay Thai global superstar on the international stage. Boakau, Boakau Banchamek. His legend precedes himself. People have their both sides of the argument, good and bad, but there's no question he has helped push, promote, and enhance the sport of Muay Thai. Yes. And for casual listeners out there, there's a video that goes around, probably about every five years it goes viral. It's a Thai guy kicking a tree and he chops the tree down. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Oh, the bamboo tree. Yeah, yeah okay. that's him. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that one where you talk about, oh, there's some guy who can kick it. Yep. So for the casual fan, you know, it'll come up on your social media feed. That's him. But his most recent outing on Kun Lun was against Kong Ling Feng. Wonderful, wonderful fight. Beat him by the season. Teddy, look at the amount of fans up at the podium with their cell phones out. It's pandemonium. I'm going to get my cell phone out. Pandemonium on the podium. I'm going to get my cell phone out, too. I'm going to fan out right now as the legend, Buakau Banchamek, enters the ring. There's no other fighter in the world of kickboxing or Muay Thai who uh, can get this reception. Zero. Nobody else. There's no question that he has been a great exponent yeah. for this for yeah. Muay Thai. Great ambassador for oh. Thailand, for Muay Thai. Unbelievable. Exactly. Now for kickboxing as well. And his ring entrance is a show in itself. Yeah, it is. So if you're his opponent, you're standing in there, and you're watching all this razzmatazz, you got to be thinking, oh, my yeah, it God. Is, it is daunting. It is daunting. You see all the fans. You see all his supporters, everyone behind him. And then you have to be the one to try and get him, to try and solve the puzzle, to win this chess match against this champion. I mean, we do refer to this as chess matches. Well, then Bobby Fischer just walked into the ring, you know? Showing his gratitude. Picture of the former Thai King and the most recent Thai King, Rama 9 and Rama 10. If you look around the entire venue, it is staggering to see the amount of cell phones that are out right now recording this guy. He is a global superstar. No question. 
No question about it. He's a, and he's an A-lister in his home country. Oh, sure. You can't drive on any street corner and there's a picture of him on the back of a bus. Yeah, absolutely. Or, Let me get back to it. The tale of the tape, of course. The experience being a humongous factor. Age, Buakau is towards the end of his career. That is for sure. But he does not show like he's slowing down. He is still abbed up. And the height difference is going to be a big factor here. Let's see if Tutu can keep Buakau at a distance, try and do some damage. 23 years of age. Young How guys, good is yeah. that to be in there with Boagao? Yep. Now, the huge thing for this fight is he's got nearly 15 centimeters on him. 189 huge. versus Plus 174. Long, long arms as yes, well. long arms. He's long and lanky for this division. Boagao relaxed as ever. Of course, Yim, Boakao's manager, an ever-present part of his journey to stardom. Oh, it's, all, it's, one days. it's always important, sorry to cut you off, it's always important to have a team around you, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's very hard to be the lone wolf. It's very hard to try and do everything on your own. I can handle it all, you know? It's, it's really nice to have family and friends yeah. and people you can trust around you. I think that's no when people really get to the elite is when they have that, that core around them. Buakau does look small. Doesn't look small. He's, he's muscles, but he does look small looking at the Dutchman next oh, across the ring. Still in supreme athletic yeah. condition for a 35 year old man. Teach me a few lessons. And definitely looks big, big and broad, but I just mean he looks small compared to Marwan. Oh, I mean, 15, if you believe what's on paper, there's 15 centimeters. I looked like it right there when they oh, were there is. head to head. The, 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 the weigh-in, when they stood next to each other yesterday morning at the weigh-in, staggering the height difference. Well, here we are, main event, fight 18. Finale. What a wild ride. Oh, Kun Loon yeah. Fight 67. It's Thanks for sitting next to me. Thanks for letting me My sit pleasure. next to you, My man. Pleasure. We're not done yet, buddy. buddy. I know. We'll be sitting next to each other later on. <laughs> <laughs> In the bar. <laughs> Jesus, don't get ahead of yourself, mate. <laughs> I do have a nice bathtub <laughs> in my room. I don't want it. TMI. Too much information. Here we go. <laughs> Round number one. Super fight. Okay, Bokao, we're kind of shaking it off. Shake, nice shake, one. Shake it off. Was that the uh, was that the first uh, Taylor Swift reference that we've had all night? <laughs> Surprised you haven't had a few of those. My goodness, the Maybe height the of marijuana. Taking it to him. He's hitting him. He's hitting him. Don't want to clinch there. Yeah, there's that punch off the break that I've been talking about. You can break on your own. They got one of the best refs in the business in there right yeah, now. Yeah, the most senior one, of yeah, course. Yeah, absolutely. I love that guy. Man. They had to have him, I guess, for the main event, too. Maron is uh, switching stances, too. See if that's uh, tactical reasons. That's right. See, that's the, the beauty of yeah. Kulon. It, it, it's, uh, for me, it's strange to see it the first couple of times. Two minutes left, just one minute down. A huge kick, Buakau got caught. Oh. Watch the way Boakao uses the center of the ring. He cuts it off. He, he will rarely come outside of that X circle around the X, the imaginary circle. Marwan taking it to him. Good on him. I like it. Power kick by Boakao, urging his opponent on. So it's youth versus experience here. And there's the experience. And there it is. Nice, nice trip. Ooh. Power in that kick. Lot He's got to feel that. 
Pokal chasing him down there. Oh, it's, it's beautiful the way he uses the ring. His prowess in the ring is if you simply get delightful. You get close to him, he's going to trip you like that all day long. That's going to be tough. One minute left round one. Of course, no elbows in these fights for Kunlun rules, which is one of Bokao's favorite weapons. Big knee, big knee. Pushing him off. Stalking him. So out of uh, cutting the ring off, like you said. Sorry about that, Kevin. But I right. was mentioning it. He's absolutely cutting it off. Yeah, he, he just uses it. It's, yeah, uh, very well, very it's well. It's an art. It's an art in itself. Out of the 40 fights that Marouane has had, seven knockouts. Final 10 seconds of the first round. Nice evasive move there by Bokao. Marwan definitely growing here in Kunlun. Doing well. Well, round one in the books. Yeah, the White Lotus. Wow. AKA Bokao definitely showing his ring experience in that opening fight round. Yep. Both fighters taking it easy, feeling each other out. Good knee though. Buakha saw that coming, got that trip. Big kick. Marwan blo blocked it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> talking to me? I was talking to you, of course. Okay, good. I think, I think she was talking to me. Who's she, the cat's mother? I gotta keep telling her, hey, I'm, I'm working, you know? Just just, just get the ring, get the card around. Second round, main event, live from Kunlun Fight 67. That's right. Mangrove Conference Center, Sanya, China, Teddy Mulvey, alongside Kevin Noon. Shout out to South Hadley, Massachusetts. Anyone in the Kunlun app listening? Bangkok, Thailand. You know we love you. Ooh, big kick there. Wow, that oh, oh, oh. Oh. that was a great left. Did he land that kick? Yeah, very much so on the chin. Yeah, is anyone gonna say anything about that? No, let's just move on. Okay, Look, that was a great uh, left though. Yeah. Really stunned him. Uh, I mean, I mean, he kicked a down opponent. Oh. Great one-two kick there, Bukow, stalking his opponent again. We'll wait to watch the replay. Maybe he wasn't down. Um, you know, there was, Bukow's not a dirty fighter, so I. No, I not at all. Definitely, uh, definitely yeah. a, a, a got caught up. Oh! In the, oh! Oh! Good night. My God! Good night. Good night. Oh! Wow, KO. that was devastating. Left hook, KO, main event. Way to cap off an amazing, amazing event, an amazing, amazing night. Kunlun 67, I didn't know we could top it last week. We come back here and we top it. We crown a 66 KG champion. He's out cold. Yeah, he's out cold. Right in front of us right now. He's out cold. Marwan Tutu still down. Vicious, vicious knockout. Head plant. My goodness. Looping left right there. Clean. Wow, crisp. right on the button. Whoa, he his was eyes. Out. His eyes. Yeah, yeah. Teddy, he was out before he hit the canvas. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. He's all right now. He's waking up. There are the recent and former king of Thailand, kings of Thailand there. Oh. All right, he's back up. He's back up. Great to see. Great to see that they're back up, yeah. Round of applause there. My goodness, that was a devastating blow. And once again, Bukau showing at 35 years of age, he still has... Of course he still has. He knocks out an up-and-comer. He knocks out 
one of the best. This kid is going to be a champion. He is a great up-and-comer in this Kuhn Moon stage. Do not hang your head. What a, a an insane night we've had here at Kuhn Moon. Fastest knockout in Kuhn Moon history, I think. And the crowd goes crazy. In our main event super fight, Buakau, knockout in the second round. Devastating knockout, Teddy. Absolutely.